Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the delicious cooking series. Today I'm going to show you how to make a very mouth-watering and yummy jollof spaghetti recipe. Now I posted this recipe a couple of weeks ago on my Instagram page and the feedback that I got on it or, or rather the request on the full recipe and a more detailed um, video tutorial was so much and I decided to film the video tutorial for it. So hey, this is me keeping my promise just in case you saw the video on Instagram. Okay. All right. So um, before we go into the cooking action, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you already know what to do. Subscribe and join our family so that you get instantly notified whenever I upload a new video. And of course, I want you to join our family because I want you to be a part of us. Okay. And give this video a thumbs up if you like what you see. I always love to see all of your likes to keep me super duper encouraged. All right guys, let's get right into the cooking action. For this recipe, you'll need some spaghetti, vegetable oil, onions, tatashe, and tomato puree, some tomato paste, spices, mixed vegetables, salt, and some chicken pieces. To cook the spaghetti, bring a pot of water to a rolling boil and season with some salt. Then grab the spaghetti and add to the pot. Cover the pot and allow to cook till tender. This should take roughly about 7-8 to eight minutes, but be careful not to overcook, okay? Grab the vegetable oil and add about a quarter cup to a pan. Allow to heat up slightly, then add the chicken pieces to the pan as well. Season with some salt and pepper. Leave to fry till golden brown, then take out of the pan and set aside. Afterwards, grab the chopped onions and add to the pan. Stir fry for a few seconds, then add the spices. I'm using some ground pepper, curry powder, thyme, seasoning cubes, and some ginger powder. Add all the spices to the pan, including the seasoning cubes. Stir fry for about one minute to wake up all of the spices. Then add the tomato paste and stir fry for a further three minutes. I'm using some tatashe and tomato blend mix for this recipe. Now, if you haven't watched the video of how I make this tomato base, I'll put the link in the description box down below, so be sure to check it out, okay? This tomato base is a must-have in every kitchen because it literally makes your cooking so much easier. And you can use it for your stews, your soups, your sauces, your jollof rice, and for making this amazing jollof pasta recipe. Anyways, add the tomato and tatashe blend mix to the pot along with the chicken pieces. Stir to combine and leave to fry for 8 to 10 minutes or until perfectly fried. Afterwards, add just a little water or stock to loosen up the tomato base, then transfer the spaghetti into the pot. Mix to combine until each strand of spaghetti is coated with the tomato sauce. Using a kitchen tongue makes the job a whole lot easier. Finally, add the vegetables. I'm using some red and green bell peppers and carrots which I've cut in strips and I'm also using some frozen peas. But you can use whatever vegetable that you prefer, okay? Now mix to combine thoroughly, cover the pot and allow to cook for a final two minutes. At this point guys, the aroma in your kitchen should be the Diana. <laughs> Enjoy guys! We deliver on taste, texture, color and aroma. Like check, 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 check. <laughs> It's definitely a recipe you want to add to your repertoire of recipes and create it just in case you're a pasta lover and even if you're not a pasta lover, this is one recipe that's certainly going to make you a pasta lover. So, <laughs> try it out, okay? And if you're recreating it, please do not forget to take pictures and upload on your Instagram and Facebook stories and tag me at Delicious Food so I can see it and repost on my stories as well for everyone else to see it, okay? All right, guys, I'll see you next time with another mouth-watering and delicious recipe. Until then, remember to be very kind to one another. Love yourselves generously. And it's me, the Queen of Fun and Fast Cooking, signing out right now. I love you all. Mwah.